Yo, what's up guys? Today we're here with Taroko. We're gonna be playing some twos games, but we got ourselves the brand new esports decals. That's what I'm gonna be using for today's video. Got the new energy decal. It actually looks insane. It feels even better though. I love the way it feels to me and the way it looks with like camera settings in game. It looks insane, especially on the camera settings I'm on. But I love the way it looks, honestly. With these wheels, I'm using default OEMs right now and then Alpha Boost. If you guys want to back us mod this same car, I actually love it. Absolutely love it. It's so cool. If you want to buy it yourself, you go to the item shop, I believe. Then go all the way right to the esports. Then go to North America and then to energy. If you guys want to have it for yourself, there's some for the Fennec as well. Some for the Dominus and uh, blue for blue team and orange for, or red for orange team. So you got everything you need. Very, very nice. And there's a few other pretty decent decals in there if you guys want to look around. But most importantly, support the boys energy, obviously. And um, yeah, definitely try this decal. This thing feels insane. It looks so cool. You can definitely see how sick it looks playing with it in game. It feels like a decal that like makes you want to control the ball. It makes you want to like go for like air dribbles and cool stuff. I don't know. I love the way it feels. I don't know how to explain it. It's got a good vibe to it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, I'm going to be using that for today's video. I'm going to be playing some twos with Sirocco. Hopefully we get some good games. And uh, yeah, should be some new ones. Let's get into it. All right, for the first game we got Shadow and Jasper. Should be a game. Both very solid twos players. Both like to play very controlled games. Should I pass the Taroko here? Nice shot. Nice, good start. Really good shot from him. We're about to use our space there. And as we get past the way that we, we let him on, like, make sure the pass is in front of him. Give him a good amount of time to pick where he wanted to shoot it. Save my boost here, get control from Taroko. About to be there. I'm not going to go insta because he probably will. Let's fake him. It's a really good block. Create some space for Taroko. You should be able to be able to get a good challenge here, I hope. Nice. Good bump. Control. We didn't get that mid boost though, so I gotta stall for him to get boost. The fake. Don't want to command this because all he wants from me is to commit, right? If I don't go, I'm giving him the opposite of what he wants, which will eventually give me the ball for free. What a shot. Wow. That was really good. I had a lot of time. Good flip. And a good finish. Well done. With the good follow. I sit in. All right, four minutes left. A lot of time for them to come back here. Far from an over game. We've done well so far. Wait for his play here. Try not to commit. Make him flick it away and then just go back. It's fine. If it's grounded, I can go for it. It's a fine thing to go for. I think if it's not grounded there, I just wait. A little bit of a late challenge for me, but it's hard for me to really get back to that. There's the problem. Okay, what Soroko did there is a big problem I see a lot of people doing, and I do this myself as well. You gotta play the read, right? If you waited and played where the ball was going to be, just went straight for the ball. Would have been a hundred times better. It was a really good shot from us. Playing well this game. If he uh, went straight for where the ball is, it would have been better. Because if he got beat, then I can deal with it. And usually it's going to force a touch to be around him in some way. Which means the touch is going to be worse than they would want. My flip did not work. Touch around one, I'll go back. So right here, you should just play the ball. And if we get to around them, see that's perfect. He forces a touch, and then if they do beat him, I get the, the follow-up. Try to pass across here. Try to watch the shot, that's the main thing I'm trying to watch. Everything else doesn't really matter to if I can deal with it. Nice. 30 boost here, try to pass. Good read from him. Good wait from Taroko. It was the bigger play there, I think. The fact that he actually waited. Try to just beat him with that. Try to beat him with the pop that I could follow myself. Good touch. Play it high forward. Something that you can't really follow. I could bump maybe. 
Spurs hit here. Same situation. I'm going to go for the ball again here. Wherever the ball is, doesn't matter. Just trying to get in the way of his play. Play some Turoko. Same thing here. If I'm first challenge, I'm just playing where the ball is. If he beats me, it's fine. That's a really big tip from this video that I think will help you guys a lot. Don't try to read the play so much. It's how you end up getting faked. I notice it's a good play from them. Ah. Hard for us to follow it up. Actually, perfect bounce for them. So well played shot. Just around me. And because I went, hard for me to get a follow up touch. It's fine if it's under me. Just jumping to the ceiling. What a shot from Torgo use. I was just jumping to the ceiling there basically to cover the whole ceiling part and anything else is just going to be Soroka's ball for free. Jump there, wave dash, and the shot went top corner. Damn, what a shot. That was really well done. Don't know if that's what he was intending at the start of that dribble, but I mean, it worked. If it works, it works. So I'm last for a bit here. He's not, not going to be behind me. Now that he is, I can actually bait this flick. Just get close to the ball. Be easy for him. Forces touch. Same situation. Try to give. See how almost every time I go for the ball it ends up leading to Taroko with a free ball, right? That's how you know you're doing your job right. If your teammate's in a, a really good situation after you go for the ball or after you made a play near the ball, showing presence at all. The ball should go to your teammate every time if you're playing it correctly. So he has an advantage every time, right? Oh, I wanted the perfect touch off the wall for him. Bump here would be huge. If not, it's still fine. It's still force the guy into his net. Bottom corner. Hitting my shots this game is for sure. The shots I'm hitting are very tough. But I'm getting them. Nice. Well played. Alright, let's get into one more today. Hopefully we can keep it up and get back to that. That was energy decal feeling crazy. I got one own goal somehow that game. I don't even remember how. But yeah, let's get into the next one and see if we can keep it up. Let's see how it goes. Right, for the last game, we got Brisky and Brandon. Again, solid duo here. These games always come down to, obviously, just like little mistakes. Obviously, there's outplays involved, but whoever makes the bigger mistakes, obviously, is going to lose the game. That's a good attempt. Should be a goal still. Good try. Good save from him. Go for a single jump fit. There it goes to Turoko. Same thing, right? Like, I'm trying to make sure the ball gets into his grasp every single time. That's what I try to do with every possession. It's a hard thing to do. Something I've worked on for a very long time. But every single time I go for the ball, every single time, even if I'm off the ball, I try to make sure the ball ends up in my teammate's hands in a good position. Should find have some space. I'm going to get bumped by one, probably. It's a really good flick. I don't know... Maybe it's the decal, man, but I've been feeling crazy. Hitting everything. In the right spots, getting the ball where I want to. Watch the bump here. It's fine. Take the pads going forward. Gonna have a big air dribble here, so I gotta play a little bit patient on this. Nice. This might be bad. Good. Patience on that. Good shot. Taking the corner boost is pretty big here, and then taking the mid boost. Because that guy's going to look for a boost after, he might go for a mid. Should have a free bit of... It's fine, actually, I'll let him control this. It's not going to have any boost, right? I know this. He's going to beat me to the wall, it's going to be pretty pointless. Still has no play. I'm lagging a bit, it's fine. I know he has no play, right? He still has no boost. So. Play to the left. Good try. Wait for his touch here. Good shot. Well done. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Let him hit that. Should be okay. So it goes a free touch here. He should look for me on the left side in a second. Be good. If not, I'm just going to wait patient here because I think the ball will come somewhat mid if he gets beat. They might forfeit. Kind of hope not. I don't know if I can play one more. Hope they stay. 
Just saying, okay, good. And they still have a lot of time. They're over Spanish to go off. It's gonna be a goal for them. Notice it a second too late. That's hard. Basically, that kickoff, you guys know what it is. The guy going for kickoff on the diagonal. It's the one with that di one diagonal and one uh, in front of the net. The guy going for the kickoff bumps the cheater. And it's just an empty net. Because it fakes the guy. Oh, the guy going for kickoff and it's just the pass to the guy in that. Just shoots it. Ah, I left really far. Might be bad. Yeah. Didn't, didn't think it would turn out badly here. But then Turco got absolutely slammed. Because he had full control of that ball, right? And he got slammed. Really far away from it. Should be fine though. Have a two goal lead. Some time to work. I'm going to fake the whole way here. I'll just beat him. I'm going to stay like somewhat midfield. That way if this goes wrong, I can help. Good chance it does. I'll turn again. It's a good play. Shouldn't have much on this. Charco trying to get in the way. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, we can still lose this for sure. Very good. It's very awkward there because Charco's there and can get in the way, right? But he doesn't get in the way. In the way that I imagine, like he tried to bump him off him instead of just hitting the ball back to me or hitting the ball to the corner. Which actually made it honestly a little bit more awkward. It's a hard thing to to work around with no comms, right? In comms, he could say that he's going to bump, and that's just going to make my challenge easy. But if I wait there, and, and he only bumps and doesn't actually get the bump, then it's actually a pretty difficult situation. But we'll play a challenge from us here. Job to slow down with him. I like that they came back here, though. I actually really wanted this to be a more competitive match. And we'll play it again. 50, and a very easy free ball for Taroka, just a free net. Let's see then. Put around one again. Oh, unlucky. Try to get out of his way with just a free goal. Did a good job there. Though. Same thing, right? Want to give my teammate the next advantage every time. Take this back boost. Nice torque out. Let me go quick. Make it awkward. Be annoying one more time. Make him jump. Probably still has a good cut. Good try. I'll wait out right side if he wants to use me. If not, it's fine. But beat him. I main goal there, like, if I can't get a clean beat over him, I just want him to get a touch that he doesn't want. Like a super unfavorable touch. Should I pull down the space a little bit here? Nice. Play it over the net. Play for the corner boost. Can't beat him, but I can bump him, make him jump. Thought about mid guy now. Okay. I went for the bump on the guy bumping my teammate. Pass Turco. Nice. Never gonna expect the pass there. Nice. Okay. Good games for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, just watch this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.